My name is Chris McLaughlin. It's my first semester here. I, I definitely want to do forensics, forensic anthropology. I think it's very crucial. I think when I, that's actually one of the reasons why it piqued my interest whenever I started looking into the field because it's, I mean, so fascinating and interesting and it, it's a, a crucial part of society and everything and learning and science and all that. Well, first of all, there is no morality issue here. There's nothing immoral about what we're doing. Decomposition is a natural process. God designed it that way. Uh, people decompose. In fact, when we embalm people, we're doing something unnatural. I anticipate on going to the decomp lab. Um, hopefully I can react well to it because I haven't dealt with the human remains yet. Um, so I am looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be interesting. People tend to call it the body farm because that's famous. But ours has a specific name. Its the acronym is the forest and it stands for Forensic Osteology Research Station. When I was hired here in 2003, Chancellor Bardo made it very clear that one of the things he wanted to do besides setting up the program in the laboratory in forensic anthropology was to establish a decomposition facility like that of the University of Tennessee. My name is Mac Monteith, originally from Silver, North Carolina. This property up here is the site of my grandpa, my mother's mother and dad. Western built this facility. It's got a double fence. It's got chain link on the outside, as you can see, with razor wire at the top. Um, and then inside is a privacy fence, just because somebody can come up here. We do have hikers walk up here every now and then. People just out walking. And people are donating their bodies to us, so we want to keep it somewhat private and respectful. Now what we do is we get uh, donations to our facility, much like people donate to medical schools uh, and so forth. Body is brought here and it has to be in an unembalmed uh, state so it will in fact decompose. The body is then placed out in the facility in a very natural environment. We've done nothing, virtually nothing to the area uh, to alter the natural uh, landscape, animals, insects, and so forth uh, that occupy the area. Our recoveries tend to be in areas such as this where there's steep slope, um, there's a water source fairly close, you know, it's, it's a sort of a medium density forest, um, and we want to find out what decomp is like in this particular physiographic zone in the Blue Ridge. We then go out uh, initially daily and sometimes more than twice a day to observe the, uh, the remains because the early stages of decomposition, the body will go through a very rapid set of changes and then slow down later on to maybe uh, once a, every other day, maybe once a week, we'll start looking at the remains. But we feel the western end of the state is fairly represented by what we're doing here at Western. I'm about to go into decomp lab. Um, where I'm going to be observing the decomposition. Okay. Yeah, well, that I think that is a great idea that. Uh, they would think, take uh, Gullahui or Western Carolina and, as a site to build a second uh, research center. And when we take students out on forensic cases or work in the lab, they are in fact getting more than just lab experience. They're getting you know, experience that actually pertains to their field. Uh, it's, it's really um, a pretty amazing thing to have this. It's a pretty rare thing. For us as researchers and for students as being um, part of the educational system. So I just got out and uh, I've done a lot of hands-on stuff, but I think this even adds more to it, um, the experience and me wanting to do it even more. Um, and I was really excited and, and my expectations were um, met, definitely. I really uh, felt I got a lot out of it.